Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations. And ladies and gentlemen, we officially got the Golden Age of Trade event finally back here in Cookie Run Kingdom. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down what exactly the event is, how exactly you participate or, you know, play the event, and third, why it's absolutely important and how you guys can get a mega ton of resources absolutely free. So without further ado, let's dive right in. As you can see here, so essentially based on your rank at the end of the seven days for the entire events timer, you're going to be getting some additional crystals, gold, experience star jellies, and even rainbow cubes for the top 3%. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the top 3% is not really that hard to achieve. And even if you don't happen to hit the top 3%, you're still going to be getting a massive amount of crystals, gold, and even experienced star jellies just for jumping in the game and playing in the next six days. As far as a description here on what exactly to do, we've got trade materials and goods at the train station, the tree of wishes, the trade harbor, and the seaside market to earn trade points earn more trade points for trading items that require more time and ingredients. And as the description says here, it's essentially that easy. You want to make sure you're diving into the game in the next six days, grinding out the Tree of Wishes, the train station, the trading harbor, also the seaside market to accumulate as many points as you possibly can to increase your overall rank. And as it also mentions here, it shows you a table of what every single item in the game is worth when it comes to the amount of trade points that you get for trading those individual items. And naturally, as you get to the very bottom here, the more expensive items or the items that take the longest to craft are going to award you more points. So then essentially diving into what exactly accumulates those points, well, that's going to be things like your train station, making sure that you're sending this bad boy off every single day and make sure that your trains are not parked here. As you can see, this one is waiting for for a bear jelly toy obviously this one is not accumulating any points for me because it is just sitting stagnant so naturally you do not want to make sure that that happens on your account you want to make sure you're getting those trains sent off as often as possible the next thing up and that's going to be the tree of wishes guys as i already mentioned you should be doing all 45 of these every single day but outside of that with an event like this currently going on do we as many of these as you possibly can because every single time you submit these orders you are going to be accumulating a mega ton of trading points and as you can see down here in the bottom, man, naturally the more valuable items, as you can see here, that normally give you more points in your boats are going to be giving you additional trading points as well. So naturally try to utilize those first if you got them just to make sure you can accumulate more points with your boat orders. And then last but not least, we've got that's going to be the seaside market, guys. This is going to be what every player has unlocked as soon as they unlock the trading port in general, whether you have boats or not. Getting in here and buying any of these items for any additional resource will give you additional amount of trading points that you can then utilize for your rank in the golden age of trade event buy some of these items to forgive you guys an example here i traded in those 54 of those berries i also accumulated some trading points by doing so and that's essentially gonna be it guys it's that simple get in here right now for the next six days of this event grind it out man complete those tree of wishes send off those boats make sure your trains are not stopping doing anything and last but not least man buy those items from the seaside market if you haven't done so already because i'm telling you guys the free resources are gonna be something you do not want to pass up especially as a free-to-play player with that being said though guys as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe here on the channel for everything cookie run kingdom related i cover it all from guides tips tutorials coupons updates leaks you name it you will find it here on the channel and with that being said as always i'll see you guys on the next one these trading ports to accumulate as many trading ports at ports. It's points. <laughs> Trade points. Blah, 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 blah. We need a compilation video is what we need. <laughs> uh...